So let's just pick up from where we left off in the last part. So as you can see here, basically in the last part, we have pretty much everything set up inside our uh, profile view controller. And whenever we tap on any section over here, it just gets printed out at the console down below. So right now we just need to continue working um, with configuring the tabs as you can see over there, because as you can see here, there's no way to tell which um, which tab is actually activated. So we just need to, you know, make some modifications to the colors of those. So let's just go down in here in the configure method that we have made in the last part. And as you can see here, basically we just need to have this eye uh, back because we're going to be using it. All right. So over here, after the guard statement that we made, uh, we just need to ask like simple questions like if I is equals to the selected tab. So basically, if the selected tab is equals to I, I'm just going to uh, change the tint color of that button. And as you can see here, basically, I have like an instance for it. So button dot tint color, and that should be label. Otherwise, if it's not equal, uh, I should change that tint color to something like um, secondary uh, system fill. And we can just say primary or system fill, I believe that should be working. Right. Um, you know what label uh, seems okay. So label and okay for uh, the secondary system label over here. So secondary label. Let me just hit build and run and let me see what do we get. So as you can see here, tweet is all white. This is a little bit dimmed. And whenever we tap on this, um, we just need to configure these tag buttons one more time. So we can actually go up in here um, in the did select basically. And let me just say for zero or basically for I in zero dot dot. And now we're gonna say the tabs dot count. So basically we're just going to loop uh, for the tabs that we have. All right, now we're just going to say section stack dot arranged subviews, and we're going to be passing this I over here. And basically, um, we have this button. So um, whatever this button is, we just need to change its tint to color. Um, so basically, just say that tint color is equals to, and we just need to ask simple question is I is equals to the selected tab. If yes, we're going to pass in the label color. Otherwise, we're just going to pass in the secondary label color. And we need to do this actually with some kind of animation. So let me just say UI view dot animate with duration 0.3 delay zero. And for the options, I'm just going to change that to maybe curve is in out. And for here, I'm just going to add that. And before Xcode starts complaining, I'm going to catch self. So weak self in. And as you can see here, self, self. And yeah, that is going to be working. So for the completion, I don't need to do anything about it right now. So let me just hit build and run. And let me see what do we get so far. So let me just go in here. And as you can see here, basically, it gets changing. Uh, it gets changed actually with like some kind of animation. So basically, it's just simple as that. We're looping uh, on each tab. Um, so whenever this selected tab, which is basically gets fired, whenever we tap on any section tab, it just loop over those four tabs and asks if this tab, let's say, for example, the tweets, which is basically at index zero, if it's the selected one, and as you can see here, the selected one is zero. So basically, I'm just going to say that this takes the color of the label. Otherwise, it takes the color of the secondary color. It's just like a simple algorithm, but it's uh, it really does the uh, the purpose of it really efficiently. And right now, let's just add the indicator uh, that is going to be moving under the tweets and going to expand and shrink uh, based on the size of this. It's going to be really, really simple. So let me just add that. So over here, let me just say private let indicator and that should be a UI view, right? So let view is equals to UI view, view 
view dot translate all the resizing mask equals to zero so that we can actually use the all layout and we're just going to set the background color for this so you just need to say view dot background color and actually you don't need to look up that yourself i've done that previously so it's basically this color so ui color the red is going to be 29 over 20, 255 the green is going to be 120 uh, 161 over 255 and the blue uh, is going to be 242 over 255. We just need to return that view. And the first thing that we're going to be adding right now is actually this view. And we're going to be placing that under the um, the sub views that we have. So add sub view indicator, All right? And before we do so, we just need to talk about something. Let me just open the uh, simulator and let's see what do we have. Basically, let's say that this indicator should be placed initially under the word tweets. So the leading anchor of the indicator with the leading anchor of this button, which is basically the letter T. And the trailing anchor of this indicator should be aligned or basically constrained with the trailing anchor of this tweet button. All right. So what do we need to do when we tap on this tweets and replies? Basically, we just need to deactivate those two constraints and activate another two constraints that's going to constrain the leading anchor of the same indicator however it's going to be constrained with this leading anchor and the trailing anchor of the indicator is going to be constrained with the trailing anchor i'm sorry the trailing anchor of the indicator is going to be constrained with the trailing constraint of this tweet button all right, so whenever I tap on the media, I just need to deactivate those two constraints and activate another two constraints. This is going to constrain the indicator leading anchor to the media leading anchor and trailing anchor of the indicator to the trailing anchor of the media. I know that seems overwhelming, but I'm going to say it fourth time with the likes. So whenever I type, tap on the likes, I just need to deactivate those two constraints and activate two more which is basically the leading anchor for the likes should be constrained with the leading anchor of the indicator and the trailing anchor of the likes should be constrained with the trailing anchor of the indicator so basically long story short we're going to be having four constraints that constrained the indicator with each buttons and we're just going to activate and deactivate the ones that's being tapped and the other which are not so let's just do that so let's just go up in here and let's just add those. So let's just add that. We just need an array of leading anchors constraints and an array of uh, trailing anchors constraints as well. So let me just do that. So private var leading anchors, right? And that should be an array of NS layout constraints. It should be an empty array for now. Private var trailing anchors right and it's layout constraints and that should also be an empty array for now now we just need to populate this arrays so that it can match the leading anchor of the indicator with each of the buttons that we have uh, specified all right so let's just move down in here in the configure constraints um, methods so let me just say for i in zero point dot dot um, taps dot count right so i just need to set a leading anchor for the indicator so let leading anchor right and that should be leading anchor uh, i'm sorry the indicator dot leading anchor dot constraints and that should be constrained with the um section tabs or section stack dot arranged sub views which is basically going to be um item at index i so leading anchor i believe that's going to work okay and um, yeah i believe that is working actually and i just need to add this uh less than sign over here and we just need to add that leading anchor to the leading anchors array so leading anchors dot append new element leading anchor which is basically the one that we have made here and we just need to make the same one over um, with the um, trailing anchors. So let trailing anchor 
that's going to be indicator dot trailing anchor constraint section stack dot arrange subviews element at index i dot trailing anchor and we just need to add that to the trailing anchors array so trailing anchors dot append trailing anchor all right so now we have populated the um the arrays that we are going to be using so let's just add the indicator uh, initial value so let me just say um let's just say let or basically indicator constraints let all right let's initialize that on empty array so basically we have uh, to initialize basically or activate the first um indicator which is going to be aligned with the word tweets so um leaving anchors at index zero right so and the trailing anchors equals zero and we just need to set the indicator the top anchor i just need to put that down below the very first one which is basically aligned so um let me just say um yeah basically section stack um dot arranged sub views dot the first one i don't care which one um, basically the bottom anchor and for the height i'm just going to specify that to maybe four points and let me just um set that to be activated indicator constraints all right so um right now we just need to do the part of the animation so let me just go up in here in the did set method which is basically here and uh, i'm just going to say self dot um in i'm sorry self dot leading anchors all right at index i i'm just going to see if i is going to be equal to the selected index uh if it's or, or if it's that i'm just going to activate this otherwise i'm just going to deactivate that so um yeah basically uh this leading anchor uh, I'm just going to say uh, dot is active and I'm going to say um, I is equals to selected tab if it's equals to selected tab I'm just going to say true otherwise I'm going to say false I'm just going to do the same thing uh, with the I uh, just need to set the self uh, or, or the weak self basically on the optional one here I was going to add the same one with the trailing anchors as well so uh, I just need you to loop on every anchor and see if it's uh, if I is equals to the selected tab I just need to activate that constraints otherwise I just need to uh, basically um, disable that constraint and we can say here basically self dot layout if needed so that we can make sure that uh, this is going to trigger our animation let me just hit build and run and let me see if that is working on my iPhone 13 Pro Max um, yeah I just closed the simulator so it's just taking some time so profile I mean let me click on that and as you can see here basically it works so yeah that's what we had in mind um, when we first decided to do this um, maybe I can add a add a profile over here but I believe this episode is getting too much longer than expected so I believe that's it for this tutorial so in the next part uh, I believe we're gonna be working with the onboarding stuff and adding some firebase to our app so if you liked what you just saw please hit that like button consider subscribing to my channel it's going to help me a lot so once again that was Amr happy coding and stay safe